Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. In our Don't Do This number seven, I want to kind of point out some glaring examples, pardon the pun, but as you can see in this picture, the client is set up in a room that's really a glass room. And the front wall obviously is all glass. We can see that from the picture. So this is a situation you just cannot have at all if you're serious about um, recording or playing back with any kind of fidelity at all because having that much glass in the room is, is not not welcome at all. And let's take a look at some of these other photos and, and other examples that we have here. And we see a lot of objects in the way between the speakers and listening position. We see tables, we see all kinds of other things in the way. And we can't have that. We got to have what we call free space. So our speakers and listening position, we can't have anything in this area. Not, not lamps, not tables, whatever. Nothing, nothing, nothing for sure in this area. And not, nothing here that the energy from the speakers is going to strike. Because remember, we have to have this balance between direct versus reflected energy. What we're trying to do is manage this direct energy from the speakers against the reflected energy from the side walls and the energy from the front wall and the energy from the rear wall. So our management task is great. And we balance those time signatures of the reflections with the direct energy from the speakers. We do that with proper rate and level. But spurious reflections are really our enemy because we can't control that. When this sidewall reflection strikes a lamp or a table over here, we're done. We can't control that. I mean, we, we don't know what direction the reflections are going and we don't, we shouldn't have to worry about that. So free space, keep, keep all this area open and not have anything in the middle. So let your music flow, if you will. I don't know what the word is, but Let's do no harm in our setups and make sure we have plenty of space for the proper balancing act that we have to do in our rooms. It doesn't matter whether it's a uh, mix room professionally, a two-channel playback room that you use uh, to listen to two channel. It doesn't matter. The laws of physics are the same. So the bottom line here is let's stay away from objects that produce spurious reflections and definitely no glass. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.